To determine the correct time to replace the air filter, you first have to keep an eye on the air filter restriction gauge that's mounted in the cab or on the air cleaner housing. This gauge measures the amount of vacuum present in the air cleaner housing. As the filter becomes more and more restricted, vacuum increases. When the gauge indicator enters the red zone or shows 25 inches of water, it usually means it's time to replace the filter. However, water vapor in the air or condensation buildup on the filter paper can cause a temporary restriction that results in a false gauge reading. If you think this might have happened, reset the restriction gauge. Then drive the truck at full load and at rated speed for a few minutes. If the filter really needs to be replaced, the gauge indicator will be in the red zone or show 25 inches of water. If not, the gauge will show the actual restriction caused by the filter. Two important notes here. One, do not remove the air filter for a visual inspection. Appearance is not an accurate gauge of a filter's need for replacement, and removing it only increases the risk of dirt entering the induction system. Two, however, even if the restriction gauge doesn't indicate it's needed, always replace the air filter and any seals at least once a year or when the truck is driven 100,000 miles, whichever comes first. Next, if you come across a restriction gauge that doesn't seem to be showing an increase in vacuum as the truck is being used, do the following. Check that the filter element is not torn or punctured and that the seals are not missing or damaged. Then remove the restriction gauge or the hose to the housing. Make sure the filter below the gauge isn't clogged by blowing air through it. If it's blocked, clean or replace it as necessary. Next, test the restriction gauge itself by applying vacuum to it directly. If the gauge does not measure the correct level of vacuum, replace it. On in-cab restriction gauges, also test the hose to the gauge for leaks. Do this by applying a vacuum to the hose. If the vacuum bleeds down, you know the hose is leaking and should be repaired or replaced. 